Let's go, guys. And fighting, and fighting the worst fight I've ever seen in my go. life. Seven rounds to two. Darrell. I got it. Harold. The worst? The worst. Harold, you've seen oh, thousands of fights. Larry, the, the style is just terrible. It's running in pot shot. I mean, you know, stand and fight. Get the fans their money's worth. But Larry, you ought to jump in the I, middle and yell. If you don't fight, you don't get paid. Harold, if he's running, why are you giving him the rounds? Because the other guy's doing less. <laughs> <laughs> also, not except Larry, I mean, Stevens has played right into this style. He, he's got nothing to offset it. No, it's his job. You're, you're exactly right, Bob. It's his job to do something about it. Can't hit the curveball. Go to the change of cage and learn how to hit it. Right? Now, where was Stevens' aggression there, Lennox? No, he, you know, like I said, he's flat-footed right now. He needs to be on his toes. This is the last round for him, man. He needs to go mad in there. Punches from Durrell, block. Stevens just waits. See, see, Durrell's very relaxed in there. You know, when he's showing his punches, they're fast and crisp. Is is basically using no, hardly any effort. He knows how to snap his punches in there. Right hand from Stevens. See that one punch by by Stevens isn't working. He needs to be throwing like a dozen punches in there. This, see? Throw that left. If he's moving around to the left, throw double left hooks. Let me have a question right. for you. Would you pay money to watch Darrell fight again? Yes, definitely. Okay. Why not? That's you know, he's he's doing he's doing some skillful things in there. He's showing some speed, he's showing some movement, he's showing the fact that he can switch at any moment. He's controlling the action in there. He's not getting hit. Right. There's the foul to end it. Durrell, this, is, this is the reply from the people who did spend it's, money. It's, it's not a, it's not a crowd, crowd pleasing style, but at the end, he's victorious. Sometimes you lose by winning. You see Harold's scorecard, 98-92. I don't think many would disagree. I mean, do you, do you take into account here? That this is Durrell's 12th pro fight. I mean, it's still early in the game. It's still early in his career, and, you know, he's still learning. This is going to be a great fight for him to go back and watch and realize that he could have did a lot more other things in there. And uh, his, his type of fighting is longevity fighting, you know, hitting without getting hit. That shows, you know, some good sweet science in there. All right, this one will go to the judges' scorecards. Let's take a look at the... Three judges who will score. Tom Kazmarek, veteran official, scored it for De La Hoya in Mayweather's win against Oscar. 115-113. Don Trella uh, had Miguel Cotto in his win over Pauli Malinaji. In that victory for Cotto just over a year ago. And Steve Weisfeld. And the Klitschko Peter fight had Klitschko winning at 114-111. Time for the official decision. Here's our ring announcer, Greg Dubin. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judges Tommy Kazmarek and Steven Weisfeld both have it 97-93, and Don Trella has it 98-92. For the winner by unanimous decision, Andre Duran. Decision victory against Curtis Stevens. 
Let's take a look at some final punch numbers. The guys from CompuBox did not burn their fingers on this one. Total punches, Durrell clearly outlanding Stevens in the fight, landing 25%. Stevens was consistent. He averaged about 12% connect the entire fight, averaging 4.3 landed over the 10 rounds per round. Power punches, not enough from Curtis Stevens, landing only 34 of them. Actually, Durrell nearly doubled them up in the power shots landed here in the fight. So Andre Durrell, the bronze medalist from the 2004 Olympic Games, improves to 12 and 0 with a decision victory, although unfulfilling, against Curtis Stevens.